my first time ever making videos, so y'all have to bear with me. I'm kind of nervous. Um, but I want to document my mommy makeover journey. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. So today is September the 12th, 2018. I will be having surgery in the Dominican Republic with Dr. Tania Medina on March the 5th, 2019. Now, to begin this journey, I have to take you back a little bit, just give you a little history. Um, I want to make videos to help someone like how YouTube, fellow YouTubers help me. Okay. So I think it's only right and only fair that I do one. And not only that, to support my B B W. Okay. I see a lot of videos, nothing against no one. But I like to research videos with ladies who close to my body type, um, high age or higher. Um, maybe it helps someone, you know. First and foremost, I want to start to say that I'm doing this for me. It's not for my man. He appreciate me. He loved the way that I look, everything about me. Um, but he support me 100%, you know. Although he said that, you know, I don't have to get this surgery done. He loved me the way that I am. But okay, I understand it. But I'm not doing this for him. I'm doing this for me. And maybe this need to reach some other people out there who's struggling, you know, if a man is not supporting them and uh, some people doing it for men and, you know, instead of doing it for them, you know. I'm doing this for me. This is what I want. When I look at myself in the mirror and I don't like it, I'm going to change it. That's what you're supposed to do. If you don't like what you see, you change it. You have that ability to change. So this is my journey. My mommy may go a journey, by the way. Anyways, so this started like seven years ago. Um, 2012, January the 20th, 2012, I had a tummy tuck in Georgia, Macon, Georgia to be exact, and I didn't research like I should have, I just went to his, I just searched tummy tuck, Georgia, close to where I was staying, which is Dublin, Georgia. Hi, Dublin. Anyways. So I didn't want to go too far, so I chose a doctor in Macon. Now, through all the videos that I have watched before, I have seen them getting um, lipo and wearing compression garments and all of this, and I was like, okay, you know, we get ready for surgery and stuff like that. This doctor didn't do me the one, okay? When I asked about, when I went for my consultation, um, everything seems good after the um, consultation I get ready you know for surgery pay my money pay my down payment and I pay the whole thing off um, I asked question about the um, co compression garment do I get it from them or whether I purchased it they told me that I wouldn't need them so, okay you know that was kind of odd because I thought maybe that other doctors will you know all the other videos they had compression garments, you know, after having the tummy tuck, okay? So, okay, still, it was red flag, but I still went through with it. The doctor, I'm not gonna say his name, because he do a good job, but I guess for my body type, he did tell me I need to lose weight. At the time, I was 190. And he said I need to get down to maybe 160 or something like that, you know, to, to get your desired results. Okay, so I should have listened. I lost a little pound, probably like five pounds, but still, you know, I, I, I was expecting, you know, a tummy tuck, you know, my tummy flat, shaped up, you know, sucked in flat, you know, the whole name. Okay. So fast forward, surgery day. Got there, nine o'clock in the morning. Well, got at six o'clock in the morning. They didn't take me to the back uh, until like eight, eight thirty, something like that. Um, you know, they give you, you know, mark you up, put you on the gown. You know, you know the routine. 
um, give you the Valium, you know, um, take you in the operating room, and then, good night, okay? I walk up, they woke me up out of surgery, it's like 4.30 in the evening, and um, I was good until they woke me up, okay? I felt, I remember feeling the warm blanket on me, and it was, it felt good, but then the pain started to sit in. And he required you to stay overnight to make sure everything was okay, okay? Our, my, my friends were there, my better half was there, they're very supportive. Um, where we had surgery, the hospital was right next door. So they had to transfer me from the surgery place to the hospital, to, um, MCG and um, Macon. And um, the medical hospital in Macon, sorry. And that was a rough, rough ride. Like I felt every bump, every very bump they did when they were touching the bed, moving the bed, it hurt so bad. Okay. So they put you in a room, you know, a regular hospital room. And um they was trying to encourage me to get up, go use the bathroom, kinda of walk, stuff like that. But this is the first day. The next day. I woke up, tried to go use the bathroom, and it was terrifying. It was so painful. I didn't know what the war. I knew I had surgery, but I was burning up in here. It was a sharp, sharp burn all the way up in here, okay? I'm like, darn, he must don't know how tight he got me. You know, I didn't have no compression garments on or nothing. And uh, I just had a hospital guy. So, they helped me. I had my man and the nurse to help me to go use the bathroom. And I thought I was about to die because it hurt so bad. It's a equivalent to labor, but I'd rather take labor over that pain all day, okay? At least when you're in labor, it comes, the contraction comes and goes. The surgery pain was consistent, so it was horrible. Okay, so got back in the bed. I was still in pain. You know, they would bring me pain pills, okay? Now, the second time, I think my body locked up on me because I couldn't move. I couldn't get up. I couldn't stand up. I was shaking real bad. Um, I almost fell out. They had to sit me down. They had to bring the, a bed pan for me to use the bathroom. And I just started crying because I was in so much pain. And um, so she had to call the doctor and let the doctor know what was going on. And she told him that, you know, she is in real pain. Like, she know real pain, but she was in real pain. They asked me on a scale of 1 to 10, I told the niggas a 1,000, okay? I was in so much pain. So, he had to give me a uh, IV drip. Um, and he had to give me some strong pain medicine, some Delana. I guess that's the strongest, I don't know. But he gave me that, and it's like I had to push the button every i'm thinking every 30 minutes or every hour for pain i'm not sure one or the other however it worked but you have to wait until the time is up in order for you to press the thing again and um i remember one time i was just pressing the thing and it just wasn't working and i was like i'm in so much pain you know anyway long story short for some, one night Stay in the hospital turned into four days. I stayed in the hospital for four days because I was in that much pain. So when I finally, you know, the pain finally subsided, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, the next day, I was up walking around. I was trying to, you know, take pictures of my stomach, you know, make sure it's flat and everything, which it was. But um, I thought, you know, a little bit more stretch mark was gonna be gone, but you know, hey, it was low. I was cool with that. Okay, so I was released from the hospital. The hospital home was hell. Ride home was hell. Um, so, fast forward, a couple of months has passed. My stomach was flat, but I noticed that he cut me a little high. He cut me a little high, like this is my cut right here. You know, cut, go down. Low. He was kind of hot. I knew I had a lot of skin for him to cut me lower than that, okay? Anyway, so fast forward, um, I 
I guess I gained a little weight, but not much. I noticed the, the fatness on the side was hanging a little bit. And um, I didn't think too much of it, you know, I'm like, I'm just getting fat to me, lose this weight because I paid too much money to, to mess all this up, right? Okay, so then I made a decision, about a couple of years later, I made a decision to move. And, you know, my mate, I, my boyfriend, I decided, you know what I'm saying, we just going to start our life over in a, another town. And he wanted a child, so me being me, like, okay, I'll give you a child. Um, we have a four-year-old daughter. And um, I said, and I made it clear, okay, you know, I just paid, we paid for this time. So he paid half, I paid half. Okay, I say, we mess this up. You, this is my push gift. You heard a push gift? When you have, you, you, you know, go in labor, you push, push your baby out. Okay, I gotta get a gift for that, okay? Because you know, I, you come, women catch hell for nine months carrying a child, okay? He was there every step of the way, but he didn't feel the pains that I felt. So I deserve a push gift, okay? I was supposed to be having more kids. I didn't want any more kids. And that's one of the things. That's, that's number one. That's very important. If you're not, if you're planning not to have any more kids, okay, this is, surgery is for you. If you plan on having more kids, do not have surgery because you will underdo everything that you paid for and everything that you desire. You will mess it up. Okay? That's what I did. All right? So... I started gaining weight, I gained more weight, you know, having a baby, gain weight and stuff like that. So, a couple years after, you know, she was like two years old, like, it's time for me to have my money makeover. Okay? So, I started researching again, researching again. I'm like, I'm not going back to that guy. I'm going to somebody else. So, um, of course, everybody heard of Dr. Kurz, you know, Dr. Kurz, Andrew Jemison in Atlanta, you know. He's very famous now. Um, a couple of before I got my tummy took, there's a girl from Dublin. I'm not gonna say her name. She went to him, okay? And she had a BBL, and um, you know, everybody was saying, you know, he did good on her and stuff like that. However, so I was like, let me look, you know, research him, you know. So I researched Dr. Kerr. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. So I follow him on social media, um, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, and I started looking up Dr. Kerr, looking at his videos, um, looking at some of his work, and it is amazing. Okay, so I decided to get a consultation with Dr. Kerr, February 3rd, 2017. Okay, so we took the trip to Atlanta. I said Augusta, so we had to take the trip to Atlanta. And um, I saw Dr. Curve. I got a consultation. My heart was broken because I wasn't prepared for the consultation that I got. It's very, very, very expensive. You don't pay for what you get, and God knows, I know this man work is amazing. Now, he, he does good work, okay? He has went up in his price since um, the girl from Dublin when she had her consultation. So, he service a lot of celebrities, so you gonna pay him, okay? Um, I could have got it financed, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna pay for my surgery, cash. I mean, I ain't with that payment plan stuff. Anyway, so I was like, okay. You know, he told me I need to lose weight. You know, he gave me a consultation of a full mummy makeover, and I was down for it. Of course, I could have took everything, you know, um, pick which one I wanted and which one I didn't want, but I wanted the full mummy makeover, okay? If he got the courage say I needed it, I wanted it. So that was my mindset. So I said I was going to set out. I was going to um, continue trying to lose weight. Um, by that time, I was when I went to Dr. Kerr, I was 213 pounds, okay? Still baby fat. Now, I'm down 200. I lost 13 pounds, okay? Cool. 
However, I still got a long way to go. But anyways, um, I like, I'm going to start saving my money up, you know. Um, I never, I never paid the down payment to set the date because the estimate for my mummy makeover was almost $22,000, okay? Which consists of, um, lipo, arms, inner thighs, flanks, sides, the whole tummy, your back, borrow, lower borrow, everything, and, um, fat and just to the butt, okay, which is, oh, and a, a tummy tuck also, okay, another tummy tuck, and I was down for it, okay, so I was like, I'm finna save my money, you know, just save my money, I'm not gonna put a down payment on it yet, cause, you know, I wanna, I wanna, when I do make, you know, plans to have surgery without a career, I wanna have all my coins, and I wanna be able to be comfortable when I be out, okay, so, as life as we know it, um, I started to get a little discouraged, okay? Um, my mom went in the hospital in 2016. Um, I just lost my mom a couple of months ago, April 25th. And I was like, okay, I've been going through so much in the last couple of years. But now I'm back trying to do this mommy makeover. But I was like, I was, I'm, I'm just discouraged because you know I don't have twenty one thousand dollars just laying around. You know, um, my daughter got a couple more years in college. Um, I'm working on repairing credit, trying to you know start says on buying a house next year. That's my goal, which I would do it. So it's like, man, I want this money makeover, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna throw all my money into a money makeover and be broke, okay? So that's not me. So I started researching, researching, researching YouTube videos and stuff. And a couple of people um, was talking about the DR. And I said, okay, I just clicked on the video. I never had intention on having surgery outside the country. I mean, heck, I didn't want to go no further than, what, 68 miles from my home, let alone to another country. So I started watching videos. The videos was very um, educational. Um, I learned a lot of stuff. And when I tell you I spent hours, days, not hours, days watching these videos, you know, jotting down notes, you know, saying what to do, what not to do. Um, who to go with, you know, and all this stuff. I dropped out a lot of stuff, okay? Um, a few of the girls that um, did their videos that I follow them now, I subscribe to their page. Um, their video was amazing. Their outcome was amazing. And it's like, they was like my body type, you know, um, so I decided to go with them. That's when I picked Tania Medina. I stalked her page. I did all her, you know, doing research, make sure she was board certified, which she is. Um, you know, make sure she had no death under her and stuff like that, you know, her fault or whatever. I did a lot of research. So that's why I ultimately chose Dr. Tania Medina. Um, I finally um, downloaded, do the, do the real self app and did a WhatsApp contact doctor. Um, I called her office in the Dominican Republic. They sent me over a link. Um, I sent in my pictures also. Um, and they sent me a quote over within two days. You know, I wasn't looking for them to do it that fast, but they did. And I was so pleased with that part. Now, come the deposit. Okay, they sent me the link, you know, telling me what I need to do with the deposit, okay? And to, you know, assure my date. So, I did that. I Ultimately, I did, I chose March the 1st. Um, I wanted to go sometime late September, but she was booked. So, I said, okay, let's go. 
I have three trips coming up. Next week, going on a cruise. Come back. December, going on an eight-day cruise. Come back. February, going on a seven-day cruise. So, I was like, I want to be healed before I be able to travel again. I want to be 100% before I be able to travel again. So, um, that's why I chose March the 1st. So, um, I paid my deposit. You know, you have to pay your deposit. Then you have to take a picture and send it to them. Email it to them or, you know, or um, text it to them and put the date on there. So, I did. And I was waiting, 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 waiting. Didn't get no response. And I'm like, okay. So, I called them. I said, well, I'm waiting on a confirmation of my surgery date. I said, I've been calling you know, I've been texting, you know, emailing. I haven't had an email or response back. So by that time, I started getting worried. So she, um, she said, just give us a couple of days and we'll get back with you. I said, okay. A couple of days turned into a week. No one called me back. So I started calling them. So I'm like, I'll pay y'all $500 to secure my surgery date. I just need a confirmation. Please get back with me. So by the time I started getting frustrated and pissed because like it don't take a week. I, already, I sent y'all my money. Let me get my surgery back. Okay. So apparently the email that I was sending wasn't getting. So she verified the email. So I emailed her with that in the picture. And she was like, she emailed me, Matt, what's okay, okay doll, what's my number? You know, she need my number. So I emailed her my number. Still nothing. So, something like, go download the WhatsApp. So, I did. And I took a picture. And I sent it to her. And I said, this is my date that I choose to have surgery on. The next day, I got a response. So, it's like, okay. So, the WhatsApp is what I need to be texting. Because I don't know what's going on with the email. Because every time I email them, it's like a recording. You know how you, you call a phone and get a recording? I get a rec like a the same email over and over again. Like I already sent in my pictures. I don't need nothing else. I just need a confirmation. So I had to do the um, WhatsApp. So finally, she texted back and she was like, um, "We can't do surgery on on a Friday. It has to be beginning of March or beginning of um, February." So I pushed it back from, I said, well, okay, let me do March the 28th or the 27th. She said, well, the last two weeks of February, we won't be working, we won't be in office. So I said, okay. I said, well, let's do March the 5th. She said, thank you. She said, March the 5th will be perfect. So there you have it. I will be having surgery March the 5th, 2019. Now, it's time to show you what I'm talking about, you know, um, one of the YouTubers, one of the dolls, she had had surgery here in Georgia as well, and she wasn't pleased with her outcome, and I don't blame her. I'm not pleased with mine. I know Dr. Curry would have done a good job, but at the same time, it's a little healthy penny, okay? Dr. Medita work is just as good as Dr. Curry. I'm sorry, but it is. So.